Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this first evening prayer we've had of ordinary time this year. I was remarking at uh, Mass this morning, it seems a long time since we were in green. I never really understood why green is regarded as the colour of ordinary. It's of course the colour of what we're all now looking forward to, of spring and of growth and of new life. It's appropriate, as I was reflecting too this morning, that the bishop's uh, word who is life document and indeed the prayer card, the prayer that we'll use this evening, um, come themselves in green. There is a real call in his document that we should experience that new life, that spring, uh, in our parish, in our diocese. And over these next few hours, we, we pray particularly for him, as you know, tomorrow evening he leads a webinar where he guides us as a diocese uh, through uh, the plan which he has been discussing with us time and time again over these last few years. And then we're invited uh, to engage with it, that real sense that he calls us to be inspiring communities of faith who involve the young people, who engage in prayer, who make uh, the liturgy um, something which will draw people in to that ever closer relationship with God. As we begin this evening prayer, we recognise that it is our uh, ministry to draw people in through prayer. And we particularly recall our brothers and sisters who've asked this evening uh, that their needs will be part of our intercession. And we do so with confidence the confidence that Mary showed as she gave her life to God. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O strength and stay, upholding all creation, whoever dost thyself unmoved abide. Yet day by day the light in due gradation, from hour to hour in all its changes guide. Grant to life's day a calm, unclouded ending, an eve untouched by shadows of decay, the brightness of a holy deathbed blending with dawning glories of the eternal day. Hear us, O Father, gracious and forgiving, through Jesus Christ, thy co-eternal word, who with the Holy Ghost by all things living, now and to endless ages art adored. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. May the Lord answer in time of trial. May the name of Jacob's God protect you. May he send you help from his shrine and give you support from Zion. 
May he remember all your offerings and receive your sacrifice with favour. May he give you your heart's desire and fulfil every one of your plans. May we ring out our joy at your victory and rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your prayers. I am sure now that the Lord will give victory to his anointed, will reply from his holy heaven with the mighty victory of his hand. Some trust in chariots or horses, but we in the name of the Lord. They will collapse and fall, but we shall hold and stand firm. Give victory to the King, O Lord. Give answer on the day I call. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. <coughs> we shall sing and praise your power. O Lord, you give... O Lord, your strength gives joy to the King. How the saving help makes him glad. You have granted him his heart's desire. You have not refused the prayer of his lips. You came to meet him with the blessings of success. You have set on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked you for life, and this you have given, days that will last from age to age. Your saving help has given him glory. You have laid upon him majesty and splendour. You have granted your blessings to him forever. You have made him rejoice with the joy of your presence. The king has put his trust in the Lord. Through the mercy of the Most High he shall stand firm. O Lord, arise in your strength. We shall sing and praise your power. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We shall sing and praise your power. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed men for God from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. From the first letter of St. John. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children, and that is what we are. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is, when it is revealed, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. Your truth will last from age to age. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the <coughs> Holy Spirit. My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. 
He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. Through Christ we are sons of God. In him we see what we shall be when we come to the Father. With confidence we pray, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide leaders and governments, give them wisdom and integrity. You are the Lord and source of our freedom. Bring those in captivity of mind or body to the freedom of the children of God. Give courage and strength to the young. Help them to choose their work and make the right decisions for their way of life. Give patient tolerance to all who are no longer young. Open the hearts of the young to accept from them understanding and love. Receive the departed into your eternal kingdom. Sustain our hope to reign with you forever. Susan asked that we might pray for her sister Margaret having a cataract removed on Wednesday. Lucy asked that we might pray for Alex having difficulty studying for his university exams. We also pray for Charles concerned for his son May God bless them both and bring them through uncertain times. I'll ask that we might continue our prayer for Phil, not feeling too well at the moment. We remember too William, praying that he may know the, light, the strength of the Lord. Pray in thanksgiving for the various groups uh, in our parish who work so hard to build up the community. Remember particularly uh, the St Pius pastoral team who are meeting in a moment and the St Edward's finance team uh, who are meeting this evening. Remember those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith. Remembering Angela Spivey. Derek Jones, Victorio Spirito, John Dunn, Caro Tugundi, and Antonia, for whom Mass was offered this morning. We remember Karen and Morris Byrne, priest of the diocese whose anniversary occurs this day. And we pray for our diocese and for its call uh, to, to hear and to proclaim the word who is life. May all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit so that through a growth in understanding and courage and truly open to your call, we may bear powerful witness to all around us. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Oh, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. We give you thanks, Lord God Almighty, for bringing us safely to the evening of this day. We humbly ask that the prayer we make with uplifted hands may be an offering pleasing in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. As ever, thank you for being part of our prayer this evening. Particular thanks to Nick for making it possible for us to join together in this way. May the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Hail Mary, sorry, hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Pius, pray for us. St. Edward, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray for us.